A Morgan State University professor is suing the school after she says that for years she's been paid less than her male colleagues with similar qualifications. Rachel Carton has details on the lawsuit. It's a years long fight at this point. Seven plus years that Dr. Hollis has, has been at Morgan State. She started at $60,000. Now she's probably at 65. During much of that time, uh, her male counterparts, whom she outranked, were actually making more than her. Dr. Leah Hollis has done a majority of her research in bullying in higher education. And as a professor at Morgan State University, she filed a lawsuit in 2018 saying the school was not paying her the same amount as men in her position. The lawsuit states she believes even men with less experience and education were paid more than her. In 2019, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission found her claim was justified, and the school eventually granted Hollis tenure. It's completely unconscionable and certainly unlawful for her to be underpaid by as much as she has been underpaid. So there are two issues here. One is the fact that she has been underpaid. Number two is the fact that once she complained about it, Morgan State retired against her. Now, after seeking promotions with the school, she's once again in court filing amendments to her original lawsuit. Dr. Bob Hollis believes that it is equally important for her to point out that once black women faculty find a home at HBCUs, it's also important for them to be treated well, to be treated equally, and not to be consigned to second-class citizenship. WJZ reached out to Morgan State and a spokesperson said, as a matter of university practice, they will not comment on any pending litigation. In Baltimore, I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.